minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Stop. Go Falcon. Go Dragon. Got speed. Axiom 1. Together, a new chapter begins. Godspeed AX-1. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 38 seconds into this historic mission, flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. All right, telemetry nominal. Stage one, throttle down. Throttling down in the preparation for max dynamic pressure. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Max Q. Stage one, throttle up. Merlin 1D engines coming hey, back up to power. One Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. The crew calling out one Bravo should a escape situation arise. It tells the Dragon flight computer what profile to fly using the Super Draco engines. But everything is looking good on Falcon 9. We're getting nominal callouts from all the engineers and a great view from the ground camera and the onboard cameras. In back chill underway. Beginning to chill in the second stage turbo pump in preparation for its ignition coming up in just over half a minute from now. Coming up on about three and a half G's acceleration for the crew. We'll begin throttling down the Merlin engines to hold that, period, that level of acceleration. Next event coming up, we're gonna get main engine cutoff stage of the one, main engines. Down. Get stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. You've heard the throttle down call out. We're holding three and a half G's for the crew. And Miko. Successful stage separation ignition of the second stage engine. On the left, the titanium grid fins beginning to slowly deploy. Great views from the first stage camera. The first stage now begins a slow flip maneuver. You can see the white uh, nitrogen gas plumes as we reorient for an entry back through the Earth's atmosphere a little bit later in the plus count. Second stage, we see the engine nozzle glowing red. Everything continuing to look good on the second stage. We should be hearing call outs coming up to the crew here shortly on how the trajectory is looking. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. It's what we like to hear. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. AOS Bermuda acquisition of signal. The Bermuda tracking station now getting telemetry from the second stage of the Falcon 9 with the Dragon on top. T plus four minutes, 10 seconds. Everything continues to be nominal. First stage coasting to Apogee, and then it will come back down for landing on the drone ship. Second stage partway through its lengthy burn to get the crew into orbit. So Kate, four and a half minutes in, everything continues to look good. What a absolutely picture perfect liftoff. We've got a live view of the crew inside Dragon Endeavor. 
looks like uh, everyone is still pretty comfy. Uh, as John had said earlier, we got Dragon to a... SpaceX, trajectory nominal. All right, good call out there that trajectory is nominal. Uh, never we copy. As John mentioned, we got to about three and a half Gs there. Position of signal, New Hampshire. On the left-hand side of your screen, we can see the first stage as it is making its way back down to Earth. It's targeting a landing on our drone ship, a short fall of Gravitas, which is parked a couple hundred miles off the coast of Florida out in the Atlantic Ocean. Second stage on the right-hand side, everything continues to be nominal there as the MVAC engine is powering the second stage and Dragon Endeavor, Dragon Endeavor to its targeted drop-off orbit. Absolutely beautiful views of both the first and second Dragon stages. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. All right, so coming up in about a minute and a half, uh, the first stage will execute the first of two burns required for today's landing attempt. Um, at about T plus seven minutes and 30 seconds, we'll see the entry burn begin. That's where the first stage will ignite um, the center engine first, and then a couple seconds later, ignite two more engines, so a total of three engine burn, um, which will last about 29 seconds. The entry burn slows the vehicle down significantly as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. The first stage sees high drag, which scrubs roughly 70% of that velocity by the time that the landing burn begins. Stunning view where you can see the curvature of the Earth there on the left-hand side. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. SpaceX and never we copy. There you can see the nitrogen gas thrusters. So that's the puff of um, gas that you see there occasionally. That's used for uh, attitude control systems. We also utilize those grid fins that you see. There are four of them uh, placed around the booster. Uh, and those grid fins also help steer for a precise landing. Um, either at Stage the one entry burn startup. Stage two, flight All right, there we can stage. see that that entry burn has begun. We are targeting a landing on our drone ship, a shortfall of Gravitas today. Everything continuing to look nominal with trajectory and uh, MVAC performance there for our second stage on the right-hand side. So we are conducting the entry burn. Previously, the booster stage was- Stage one, entry burn, shut down. That entry burn helps slow the booster down. It was going about 25 times the speed of sound. So we slow it down as it re-enters the dense part of the Earth's atmosphere. The next event is second engine cutoff, or SECO-1, as you see it there on the timeline at the bottom of your screen. Stage two in thermal guidance. That's where we shut down the MVAC engine, or second okay, engine cutoff. Copy, Shannon. Stage one transonic. Note that our landing burn and second engine cutoff uh, will occur about the same MVAC time. Shut down. All right, we got a live view of the crew inside Dragon Endeavor there on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one landing burn. Landing burn has begun for the first day, Dragon first stage. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, great news there. Dragon Endeavor, nominal orbit insertion. SpaceX Endeavor, we copy, and it's great to be here. Zero G, and we feel fine. Stage one landing light deploy. SpaceX Dragon launch skip system disarmed. landed for the fifth time all the while great commentary there confirmed. while we can confirm the landing 
also signal an expected hit. Confirmed landing there of the first stage booster. Also, almost simultaneously, great news uh, for the second stage. We heard that there was nominal orbit insertion uh, for Crew Dragon Endeavor. There you can see a live view inside our Dragon. Looks like the crew is beginning to adjust to zero G. And if you look at the right hand side corner, it looks like indicator. we can see the zero G indicator. Yeah. That was one of my. That, that was one of the things I really wanted to see what they were going to bring for their zero G indicator. So I can't wait to see what comes on. It looks. I can't quite tell. Pokemon. <laughs> uh, maybe. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll it'll come into closer view. Yeah. But and if not, we'll get to ask them later. Hopefully. Yeah. Great to see the crew here again, starting to like, really getting their first taste yeah. of microgravity. Yeah. Oh, it has ears. Oh, it's a bunny. It Is that like Thumper? I think it might be. I think that's Thumper from Bambi. <laughs> Love it. So right now, uh, the second stage is basically preparing for uh, dragon separation. Um, we are, the next step now that, uh, as we said, dragon has nominal orbital insertion, the second stage and dragon will separate. Use there of our uh, MVAC engine, now shut off, no longer glowing that lovely shade of orange. Mm. Right now, the second stage is about 200 kilometers above Earth. Preparing now for stage separation. Or excuse me, for dragon separation. For those of you that have just recently joined us, we had an on-time liftoff of the Axiom-1 crew. They are now in space and uh, are coming up to separation from second stage, at which point um, they will then begin to make their journey, continue their journey uh, to the International Space Station. The view that you're currently looking at is inside the Dragon trunk, which as you can see has just separated from the second stage. On behalf of the Falcon 19, Thanks, welcome to space. Here. Thanks for flying Falcon 9. You guys, enjoy your trip to that wonderful space station in the sky. Do some great research for us. We'll look to see you back here underground. Now, stand by for some words from LD. And MLA and, and uh, the rest of the crew endeavor. Glad we got to have some fun this morning. We'll probably be calling an early weekend over here at the Cape. Pass you over to Anna and the team. You'll be in good hands. Godspeed, Endeavor. Enjoy the rest of your flight. Cheers. Hey, Mark. It was a lot of fun. I venture to guess we had a little bit more than you did. We thank you and your launch team, Gersh, you and the Falcon 19. That was a hell of a ride, and we're we'll looking forward to the next 10 days. All right, some... Nice words there from a couple of key folks. So you have been witnessing, as we have, history in the making here with the successful launch of Axiom 1's, uh, the mission to get to the International Space Station. This would be the first mission that is fully private. And that is the big deal here. Um, if I can bring you back down to the ground as we watch some of these images, just of our experience here at the CBS studio in Kennedy Space Center, is when this thing took off, the entire building shook. The windows rattled. All our lights started to do a little bit of shaking. And you could hear the car alarms behind me, the alarms going off. Uh, just the power of these rockets, nowhere near what the shuttle was, uh, is what I'm told, but still, um, it never ceases to amaze just to watch these things go up in the air. And as we heard there, everything very calculated, and it appears that everything went exactly as planned. Is that correct, Bill? Yeah, as far as we can tell, it was picture perfect, no technical issues whatsoever. They hit all their marks all the way to orbit. Uh, very clean launch so far. We don't, we don't have, have data, data, of course, but it sure, sure looked like as, as good a flight as they could hope for. All right, All right, so the Dragon spacecraft will take about 20 hours or so to catch up with the ISS, and docking is expected around 7.45 tomorrow morning.
Bill Hardwood, uh, Harwood, I should say, thank you so much for being with us to discuss this historic mission. For now, we'll take you back to the broadcast center in New York. All right, Manny, thank you very much. Thank you, Bill. Uh, Going to book your next vacation, maybe? Uh, I'm, I, I'm <laughs> ready and willing now. to go. I'm ready yeah. and willing to go. I haven't been to the Grand Canyon yet, but I'll take that space flight anytime. Well, first, any they got to tell me how much it costs. Because that, that, <laughs> right, that exactly. they're keeping a secret. Uh, we got, <laughs> Taking up a... If you have to ask... Passing around the hat. Yeah, yeah. If you have to ask, you can't pay for it. That's I think right. it's one of those. Um, we got a lot of news ahead. Uh, after the break, we are going to get you caught up on some of the big stories that we're following today for you. Yeah, and you can find all the best that CBS News has to offer in one place. The free CBS News app. Download it on the platform of your choice. And while you're at it, check out Paramount+. Plus. We've got a mountain of content for you to stream there as well, including your favorite shows, movies, and sports. We'll be right back. An original CBS Reports documentary. Some Republicans are now accusing companies like Twitter and Facebook of targeting conservatives. They've had unchecked power to censor. I do not have 